Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy unbagging slash review video. So this, much, this month's theme is Metropolis. So it comes with a card every month and this month is city themed. So that's pretty cool. And I also like how they incorporated the same colors from the card into the bag. So that's really awesome in my opinion. So for Ipsy you get a new bag every month with a new design. So I like how they are changing up the texture as well as the like just the image on the front so that's really cool to me. I'm not really a fan of this month's bag in particular but I do like getting a variety of bags every month so I think it's okay to get a miss every now and then because Fitzy has had lots of hits in my opinion. So let's see what's in the bag. So. The first thing that I have is something that I cashed out some of my points for and it is the Marula oil. So I got this because I saw it in the past BoxyCharm boxes and I actually really wanted it but I didn't get it so happy that I get to try this out through Ipsy even though this is just a teeny tiny sample size but that's alright. The next thing that I have is the Ciate London top coat. So super reflective and it like goes inward like this so at first I thought that this was just like a regular top coat and it didn't seem to do anything special for me but then I had a few problems I had a few chips on this hand and then on this one when this one chipped it just came completely off which that's never happened to me before and I think that's really weird but yeah, so maybe that'll be useful for like glitter nail polishes because those are really hard to get off, but for this kind, I just don't want this to happen again, so probably gonna keep from using it for a while. So on to the next item. It is the It Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. It is in the shade Light. So this is actually the item that I requested this month actually a pretty small sample but I think that it'll last a really long time. It is really thick. It's not as watered down as I expected it to be and that actually makes it kind of hard to blend out for me. I don't know how other people feel about this. Let me know if you got this and let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments but I'm gonna have to try this out a bit longer before I have an accurate review on it because just as for right now it's not really my favorite. So the next thing is a moisturizer and it's actually for your body. It says to apply on itching heels and extreme cracks on heels and elbows so um, I actually don't really have dry skin so I'm probably not going to use this. I might just try to get rid of it. It has a foil seal so it'll be good for swaps or if I want to gift it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just not for me. I'm not going to keep that. The next thing is a Pacifica blush in the shade Wild Rose. So I'm loving the packaging. I think that little unicorn is super cute. Um, it's actually a good sample for a blush. It's not like really big but It'll last a long time. So here's what the blush looks like. I like the swirl. That's cute. So it looks really dark, but it goes on much, it goes on really sheer. So there's a swatch. Yeah, and you can like hardly even see it on my hand. So that's pretty cool. I'm wearing this today and I actually really love it. So really, really happy about this one. The last item in my bag is the Trust Fund Beauty lipgasm lip gloss in the shade method to the madness so that's what that looks like it's really sheer I'm wearing this today and I just think that it's really wearable and it's not sticky like a lot of lip glosses and it also lasts a long time so I'm actually really surprised that I love this as much as I do it might be one of my favorite items in the bag so that's it for my Etsy bag and overall I have to say I'm, I wasn't really super into this bag but it wasn't bad either so I'm just gonna give it a eh, it was good so thank you all for watching this video and if you like